Soul Flyers group run, Northern Soul Flyers group run, followed by some coffee and chat. And now a little walk home, but man, winter time. Ugh. The walk home, always so cold. First thought about the Zinal, Hoka Zinal. Mesh, excellent, very, very, very nice, light, breathable mesh, which is terrible in the winter. Hoka Zinal, probably my favorite Hoka trail shoe ever, or second favorite to the EVO Speed Goat, which is a beast and light and very Hokan and just great shoe. This, completely different, also great. And in my opinion, in a nutshell, we could say that the Hoka Zinal is Salomon Sense Pro with Vibram Grip or like a Salomon Sense ride. No, Salomon Sense Pro, it's a little lighter, flatter, with Vibram grip. Now that might sound weird, because if you're buying Hoka shoes, usually it's because you don't want that really thin, firm, minimalist kind of feeling that Salomon typically gives, uh, and you want the opposite. You want cushion and softness, support, uh, something like that. However, Zinal, they went all in on that minimalist, lightweight, racy, up-tempo design, and it worked. So typical Hoka, zonal, placed, rubber, not a full coverage on the midsole. We have exposed EVA here, 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 and then that rubber in nice long strips works. Three millimeter lugs, Vibram light base, so essentially the Vibram mega grip, but a slightly lighter weight compound. Tacky, grippy, uh, the lug pattern, as you can see, not super aggressive, lots of lugs, relatively flat, not the greatest in like wet, mud, or like sandy stuff, but rocks, buffed out trail, technical trail, tree roots, nice and grippy, uh, and a little bit of softness to the midsole, gives them just a little kind of grip or like wrap around. And you can see after 400 kilometers, still a lot is left, right? You can even see some of the design, that kind of indentation on some of those lugs. Now on the outside, maybe that's just my wear pattern. Okay, yeah, they're coming off a little bit, but most of the three millimeters are still there. Looking at the heel, very similar story. Okay, yeah, wearing off a little bit on the outside edge, but you can still read that light base. You can see all, so 400 kilometers later, grip is still there. Moving up to the midsole. Okay, the most distinctive feature of this shoe is that midsole, 18 millimeters in the forefoot, 21 or 22 in the heel, I think 21, three millimeter heel toe drop, and feels like Salomon. Now, the difference between say a Salomon, like Pro or Sense Pro, something like that, is gonna be Salomon has a much firmer ride. Again, 18 millimeter, usually a Hoka is like 24, 25, up to like 30, 30 or more. Uh, 18 millimeter in the forefoot, it feels very non hokin It is relatively soft, pretty responsive, not hard, not seriously springy and responsive, but pretty darn good and has some softness, works well with the tread, as I say, grips and kind of bites very nicely. Only downside to it is that I would say after 300 kilometers, it starts to pack out. You could feel it. And now at 400 kilometers, definitely it has packed out. It has reduced. Uh, I would not race in these anymore. I wouldn't take these out for long runs anymore. So it's not going to be as durable or long lasting as a typical Hoka Shoe Speed Goat, Mafate Evo, something like that. And in the almost inverse of normal Hoka shoes is that 
the outsole is going to outlast the midsole. Usually it's the opposite. Moving up, this upper, we have a toe cap, toe bumper there, relatively thin and supple rubber, uh, but just protects enough, just enough from some of those rocks or tree roots that you might kick. Nice, breathable mesh upper. It was like negative five this morning outside. Not nice in the winter, very nice in the summer. And goes right down here. I've run in some serious downpours in the summer and it drains pretty well. Like that, tongue. There's that gusset, perforations, uh, got a little lock on the laces there. And if you can see, thin, but some padding. Racy performance style tongue. Just enough padding to really lock down the laces. So good job, stays in place, never had any troubles. Nice. These laces, relatively sturdy, not too long, not too short. They've always stayed in place, never had to retie them. The heel, you can see relatively loose, minimalist structure, medium to minimal padding on that heel pocket. Again, like the laces, no issues there ever either, no slippage, and relatively low profile, traditional design. Nice, simple. So that's the whole shoe, the whole package right there. So how would I use this shoe? This is a great just all around trail running shoe. It's also super fun and super useful for hard work, tempo efforts, intervals, racing, great shoe, basically like kind of marathon distance or under. I see some people do 50 Ks in it. That's about the limit I would say of this shoe, but anything under that, is great and especially in that like half marathon distance and my shoe size 12 weighs 277 grams one of the lightest hoka trail shoes you can get which really just makes it a racy fun fast shoe great grip thin midsole racy feeling not super durable salomon with better grip